Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And this will be the weekend reading for Friday, April 1st, Saturday the 2nd, and Sunday the 3rd. And this entire week we've been using this great Tau Oracle deck, which is an absolute favorite of mine. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. We have two together here. We have small is beautiful and a gorgeous card. And we have excess. And we have limitation. Okay, so. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It looks like beautiful purple wisteria plants hanging down. Gorgeous, gorgeous purple color. And in the middle, we have this butterfly. Okay? And the card reads, find the extraordinary in the ordinary. Keep it simple. Use discretion. Slow down. Tend to details. Pay attention. Yes, again, when we're hustling and bustling and rushing around and part of the rat race, we may be overlooking some details. We're not living in the moment. Um, living in the moment is completely uh, being involved, completely engrossed in what you're doing, giving your undivided and focused attention on, on what's right here and what's now. And this card is telling us, you know, to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. You'll still get everything done. Because when you're rushing through the daily activities, you're not getting the most out of them. And again, it's, it's hard to stay grounded. It's hard to hear your intuition. Your life could be so much more fulfilling and so much more enriched when you really take the time to slow down, to focus on the exact moment that you're in. Don't allow anything from the past to enter your mind because that's only going to make you depressed and have regrets. Don't allow yourself to get too far ahead in the future because we have no idea what the future will hold, and that will only cause you to be anxious. This card here is basically saying, you know, find the extraordinary in the ordinary. Find the beauty in the most simple things that we overlook every day. The beauty of the sun coming up. The beauty of the sunset. The beauty of a rainstorm. Uh, Everything around us sometimes gets overlooked when we're just too busy. We're just too busy rushing around thinking that it's one big dress rehearsal for some main event, and it's not. And the moments that are passing you by right now, if you're not involved in them, you won't get those back. Once they're gone, they're gone. So try today to be in the moment. And it's perfect for the weekend because that's when we do get a chance to slow down. We have more relaxation, more recreation, more socializing, but not to the point where your schedule is so bombarded that you're not enjoying any of it and that you're just being run ragged. Try to slow down this weekend and appreciate the simple things in life. This card here, Excess, that is a very strong, strong card. Okay, if you could see, there's a man here. He's on all fours. He's kneeling down. His arms, okay, his elbows and his knees are on the ground. And he has this whole stack of rocks upon his back. Imagine how much of a burden and how heavy that is. That's most of us in life. That's most of us trying to handle all of these responsibilities where we feel like we're being so weighted down. And this card says, stress, overload, exhaustion, obsessiveness, gluttony, burdens, worries, the breaking point. A lot of you out there need to slow down and enjoy the moment because this moment is your life. You don't get it back. This is telling me a lot of you out there, okay, are so overwhelmed so exhausted, so stressed out. By the time the weekend comes along, it, it's just, you're just so worn out from the week, okay, that you just can't possibly take anymore. So try this weekend 
to look at the things in your life that maybe you could eliminate that are causing the stress and this burden. Even if you have to hand off some of the chores in your home to some family members or, or ask someone to help you out with something that's you know burdening you. We can't do it alone. People will help you if you ask them. Okay? And even call on your angels. Okay? They'll help you. They'll point you in the right direction if there's something on your mind that you're really, really stumped about and you don't know how you're going to lighten your load with it. Call upon them. Ask them, you know, guide me. Somehow give me a sign as to what I could do uh, about this or that and, you know, maybe lightening my load and slowing down because we all have obligations. But a lot of us tend to overcommit ourselves because we can't say no. A lot of us just can't say that word. We're worried that if we say no, this person's going to get mad. And if they get mad, is that the worst thing that could happen? And if they get mad, then they don't, they don't respect you, okay? Because if you have to say no, that means you already have enough on your plate. They've got to be understanding. So think of the excesses in your life and what you can do to kind of simplify it, get a little bit more relaxation, um, instead of, like I said, overburdening yourself with nonstop activities. And this card here, limitation. This is a beautiful card. And limitation says self-discipline, practice, self-respect, introspection, ritual, cultivate patience, build up energy, maturity. And yes, he's sitting there. He's sitting there, it looks like, in a lotus position. And he's concentrating. He looks like he's disciplining his mind. He's reaching a calm, inner peace. He is, you know, respecting himself enough to know that we all need this type of quiet time. And again, there's no better time than the weekend to be having this type of quiet time. And cultivating patience. That is one of the biggest struggles that I have. <laughs> Again, I'm not the most patient person, but circumstances and situations I truly believe were in my life to force me to be patient because they were things that I didn't have a choice about. I had to sit and wait. I felt like I was my hands were tied behind my back in a lot of situations. And I've learned a lot from that. When you're patient, you automatically just feel an inner peace. But when you're agitated and you want to rush things and you're, you're constantly, you know, knocking yourself out, it's no way to live. And we could get caught up, like I said, in the nonstop activities and, and all of the stimulation out there. we got to find some quiet time, some peace, maybe do some meditation this weekend. Get yourself grounded. And I always say it's easier to maintain that feeling of grounding and composure than it is to try to regain it after you're exhausted and worn out. So it's going to take a lot of practice. It's going to take a lot of self-discipline. But you can do it. You can do it. Make it a priority. Like I, I always said, I, I need to start my day off on the right foot because however I start my day usually sets the tone for the entire day. So if you could maybe get a few moments in meditation before you go off to your job or, or school, maybe it's hard for you to do that during the week, and during the week is when we need it the most. But this weekend, try to sit quietly. Try to sit quietly and make a habit of it. Uh, I like referring to it as practicing the art of nothingness. Just doing absolutely nothing. Even if it's just for an hour, just sitting, just stopping all the activity, turning off the TV, turning off any music, sitting there in silence. I'm telling you, once you start doing that, you're going to wonder why you never started it sooner. So have a very relaxing and peaceful weekend. And remember, practice. Practice the slowing down, the art of doing nothing if you can this weekend. And thank you for watching my video. If you've enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel.